Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to create this very quick and easy uh, but very sassy makeup look. It is a black smoky eye. I hope you guys like it and please keep on watching. So today as I woke up I was so sad I was shook to the ground to find out that Mr. Mount Everest himself was sitting on my damn face. Go back home sir. Nobody likes you. Okay moving on. That did not sound weird at all. So I primed my face using the MAC Soft Over Pink Pot and then I went in with the 35 ohm matte palette by Morphe and the lightest shade out of there with a big old fluffy brush and I just applied that all over my crease. Then I'm going to take this burnt orange color from the same palette with a smaller fluffy brush and I'm going to apply that to my crease as well going all the way in in a dome shape kind of situation if you know what I mean. Then I'm going to take a slightly darker color with a more tapered blending brush. I'm just going to apply that slightly underneath the first color to give it a little bit more color, drama and smokiness. Okay, this color is going all the way in as well. Then I'm going to take this fluffy brush again with nothing on it. I'm just going to blend everything to prevent any harshness from happening. So now I'm going to take this black color, which is by Grimace in the number 101. I'm going to apply this to my lid with a flat shader brush. And I'm going to apply this all over my lid, but I'm going to stay away from the crease. Stay away from the crease. Okay, so here I took a very small blending brush and I'm just blending out the edge of that black. I am going to lose a lot of color, but that's okay because we won't fix it. So I'm going to take this color that I've used before with another blending brush and I'm just going to apply that over the edge of the black just to give it a little bit more color since I lose so much. And the same goes for the black color. I'm going to reapply that to intensify everything. Then I'm going to take a blending brush and just blend out everything and that is it. That was pretty quick, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So to prime my face, I'm going to take my NYX Primer Spray. And for foundation today, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Queen All Day Flawless 3-in-1 Long Ass Name Foundation. I'm going to apply that with a brush first. And then I'm going to go over it with my Booty Blender to make sure that everything is blended out for dear life. For what? For dear life. Um, because a little cake is cute, but mm -mm. So for concealer, I'm going to take my Holy Grail combo, which is the uh, LA Girl Pro Conceal Pure Beige first, and then I'm going to apply the yellow corrector here, and I'm going to apply a little bit of my forehead as well, chin, and the nose, and then I'm going to take my Booty Blender again, and just do something very interesting, mm -hmm, which is blending. So interesting. Nobody has ever done this before. Oh my god. I'm so smart. should get an award. So boring. Just blend. Forehead, nose. And I know it looks a little off, especially with Mr. Mount Everest over there, but you know, nothing I can do about that. So to set my under eyes, I'm going to take my Benai Banana Powder with my Real Techniques Contour Brush, also a combo from heaven. But I always go in with my sponge to blend out my under eye before I apply the powder to prevent creasing. So for my face, I'm going to take the same powder with my favorite brush to apply, which is the e.l.f. powder brush. I'm just going to apply this powder all over my face and I apply a lot. Okay, a lot. Uh, for my brows, I'm going to take my ABH Dip Brow and after I've applied lashes that I could actually fly away with, I'm going to take this eyeshadow by Kiko in the number 208. I'm just going to apply that in my inner tear ducts as well as my brow bone. I like the look, but it was looking a little matte, a little dry looking, so I decided to jazz it up a little bit with this gold shade and now I'm just oh shit okay what a, okay <clears throat> moving on um I'm taking a fluffy blending brush and just making sure that everything is blended out so to contour and warm up my face I'm gonna take my uh, contour and highlight palette from NYX and I'm taking a angled brush I'm just giving my face a little bit more life a little bit more warmth dimension a little my forehead on that jawline that I want so bad and on my little friend that you have met a couple of times now. So now I'm gonna take a Makeup Revolution palette in this pretty rose, what is it? No, it is the Rose Gold Golden Sugar 2 palette and I am applying this gold shade. I am gonna be highlighting my face first today, just trying out some new techniques. And here I took the Hot Spice palette, also from Makeup Revolution, and that pretty uh, dusty rose kind of blush, and I'm just applying that 
slightly over the highlighters and I'm really kind of seeing if I like it yeah approved okay so here I'm applying the wet n wild nude pencil to my waterline if you want to know one thing about me I don't like black eyeliners on my waterline don't like it mm -mm. so for my lips I took the ABH liquid lipstick in Ashton as well as the MAC lipstick in Persistence but I was I was as I was applying I realized that they were the exact same color which did not make a lot of sense in life so I decided to go over it with the lip pencil that I will be listing down below so to set my face I'm using the NYX matte spray as well as my Mac fix plus don't drop it okay so I'm spraying both of them on my face because I was feeling a little dry it never happens but it is winter time so maybe that's why so that is it for this video guys I really hope you guys liked it excuse my mistakes I always try to do this in one take I hope you guys liked it again and please like and subscribe that would help me a lot thank you very much for watching hopefully I will see you in my next video bye guys